Hello there, Leo. Well, welcome to your timeless reading. Let's see what message the spirit has for you. Let's start with the past. What do we need to know about the past? We have the Seven of Cups. You had options. You had choices in the past. Okay. Let's see. And we have the Queen of Swords. Is this you or someone you're dealing with? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Let's see. We have here. Okay. You might have took a trip with someone here. Okay. Let's get a Queen of Swords on this. What else do we have? Someone speaking the truth. Ooh. Okay. So this is interesting. Maybe either you or this person found out that someone was doing something that wasn't exactly nice here. This is causing stress, loss, um, damage. Could have been someone that was nagging. Could have been a theft, some kind of cost of repair. Something happened here. Maybe someone put their foot down. But maybe someone went on a trip with someone or travel somewhere. Maybe when maybe you went traveling with someone and then you found out maybe someone um, did something you didn't like. But anyway, it gave you options or choices. Or maybe you found out someone was taken from you or it cost you somehow. All right, well, you'll take if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. Let's see what's happening in the present. We have here Nine of Pentacles. So you might be independent in here, maybe single. Maybe you were involved with the person. Now you're not. Now you're doing your own thing. It could be that you're starting your own company. We have here a Knight of Wands. We have Knight of Wands coming towards you. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this is, this is your energy going. To someone that normally would like to, you know, maybe Don Juan, Don Wanda might want to settle down here. Maybe someone no longer wants to be single. Hmm. I got a cough, so I'm going to pause for a minute. Okay. Sorry about that. Now let's see. Nine of Pentacles with Knight of Wands. Hmm. Someone's thinking. Here's a main female. If this is you or someone's thinking about you. I think someone's coming towards the main female here. Because they've been thinking about each other is what I'm feeling here. An independent energy, maybe no longer being independent because now we have the anchor here. So some might want to, yeah, this is what it feels like. Someone that's normally more independent, single, wants to maybe settle down. Okay, now, what's going on with the hidden influences? Eight of Wands. Okay, something's going to happen quickly here. Maybe a lot of back and forth communication, but something taken off or someone's really busy. Let's see. Ah, we have the Seven of Swords. Sneaky behavior. What's going on with the Seven of Swords coming up again? Because wasn't that what we had up here? Oh, Seven of Cups. Sorry. Options. Seven of Swords. Someone... Someone hide no, someone might be hiding something. Something's happening quickly, someone might be hiding it. Let's see. Ah, look at this. I almost feel like someone's not gonna expect this, but someone might be ready to propose or something here. Someone that normally feels like very Don Juan Don Wanda might be ready to settle down, but they're keeping it a secret. But here is this is a long term commitment here. stability settling down okay get ready i think someone's about to propose here okay let's see what's going on with you unless it's you proposing we have the eight of swords so you're worried about something you're thinking about something. is this you that wants to propose and not sure if this person is going to accept okay in your thoughts about something feeling trapped you're not really trapped though let's see Ooh, it is in your thoughts about love. Okay, Ace of Cups. You got this. 
a letter communication okay so right now you're in the process of thinking about how maybe you're hiding something here hidden influences not knowing what to do usually this is something that's hidden from you i don't feel like it's a reverse for you i don't know but take it how it resonates but there's definitely going to be some kind someone's thinking about um conversing about a deep love here but they're worried about it so this is you probably trying to write a letter maybe you're writing down your thoughts how what to say but in any case it's going to be some kind of communication okay let's see about the influence of others we have here the devil capricorn energy this could be fear this could be addictions nine of cups okay now with the nine of cups with the devil someone could be a drinker okay let's see doesn't have to be main male okay so we have the main male here that could have a bad habit bad addiction may you're not aware of this or it could be they're always working they might be also celebrating here something here they might be happy about something maybe they even kicked the addition and they're happy about it with the nine of cups there's something about either the nine of cups could be representative of drinking or it could be also represent just being happy and with the devil card you could be dealing with a capricorn or maybe someone's overindulging away in uh, some way or they have fear with the devil anxiety okay take it how it will resonate in your circumstances here let's see now what should you do oops okay this one's oh got two here okay so we have here the seven of wands and the knight of wands well, that's interesting. So stand in your victory here. It feels like you're achieving something. Stay with, I almost feel like focus on your passions here with the Knight of Wands. Every single Sagittarius, but it feels like there's something that you do well or there's, or, you know, actually the Knight of Wands is a jack of all trades. So it might be just um, hold your own, stand in your power here. Let's see what else we get. Oh, wait a minute. Let me do this first okay we have a big heart and we okay this is very spiritual love very spiritual connection or whatever you're doing you might have a love for something spiritual maybe you're just really enjoying your spiritual practice or this connection a very you might be in a very spiritual connection here take it how it resonates with you let's see what else we have The Empress. Okay, you are in your Empress energy. I love it. So, very creative. I'm loving what you do. Very into your spiritual. It might be like meditating and, and um, things are just coming towards you. Being very creative. You're, uh, I would say with, with the Knight of Wands and the Empress, your creativity is off the charts here. So, also creating something new. Giving birth to something new. This could also be a pregnancy for someone. A Libra Taurus is the... Um, empress but this is birthing something new a new job a new business new new projects a baby okay let's get out the moon okay i would say you have a lot of emotions here a lot of invest in, in maybe a relationship romantic feelings very emotional okay now your outcome Ooh, that wanted to pop sorry if that was too loud page of swords okay someone might be watching you this uh, this could also mean that you're learning something new um investigating something in, looking into something we have here the two of wands you might have a choice between two two with the two of wands okay now the page of swords <clears throat> Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is hanging on, maybe waiting for something. Someone could be watching you. This could be watching you in work, watching you. Um, you know, you might be getting attention at work, or it also could be um, 
someone watching you that's interested in you. Page of Swords. Because it's spy guy, spy girl. But it also could be that you're learning something new. You're investing in something new. You're and you could also be researching something. Okay. Let's see. Why is a Page of Swords here? Ooh, the lovers. Okay. There's a partnership here. A choice, maybe. And the bottom deck we have. Oh, there's going to be definitely something happening here. Quick. Fast movement. Back and forth communication, maybe. Gemini energy with the lovers. You might have a choice between two. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, wow. I think you might be getting engaged. Maybe someone's watching, either you or, so, or someone else is watching, waiting for the right moment of when they can pop the question. There might be a journey involved here. Maybe you're traveling, or maybe this is a distance, a long distance relationship for some. Having a choice, trying to decide what to do, but the back and forth community or, or fast travel, or maybe things taking off very quickly. But yeah, I would say someone's going to be getting engaged with these cards. Someone, maybe that's why someone's nervous here. They want to, um, this also could be that someone's obsessed here or can't stop thinking about you. Nine of Cups with this person here. Wow. Okay, guys, it definitely looks like someone wants commitment. It's written all over this reading here. Okay, let's see what the word is. Let's start with this Queen of Swords. Someone speaking their truth. Cutting out what does not belong. Past energy here. We have the end. So something might have ended. Important. Hidden. Okay. See, someone hid something. So maybe the connection ended in the past. What about this Knight of Wands here? We have a gift. Chalk. Lying. Oh. Nine of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. And so, yeah, so someone might give someone a gift. They're talking about something. Maybe they lied about something. Why well, take what resonates? It's not going to be for everyone. Let's see what we have here. This is bonus. Someone maybe had a bonus money came in or something like that. Maybe someone bought it, someone a gift. Okay, now let's do the Knight of Wands. Separate. Memories keeps the money. Okay, so this might be for someone. It might be for you. might not. It's going to be for someone. Separate memories. Something about keeping the money. Someone gave them a gift or something. Someone told them to keep it. Or keeps the gift. Maybe someone broke up and told them to keep the gift anyway. Just take if it resonates with you. Leave if it doesn't. Let's see what else we have for you guys. What else do we have for you? What are the signs? Libra. Sagittarius. Libra. Leo. Sagittarius. And Libra again. Well, look, look at all the other Libras. Okay, this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Libra, Sagittarius, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra. Now we'll do the letters. Do 11 letters to see initials, first name, last name. If you get both initials from the first and last name, and they have a middle name, and you know that middle name, you get that initial also, all the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. We have T, S, M, R, P, B, Y, V, B, I, W. Okay, so letters we have for you today are T, S, M, R, P, B, Y, V, B, I, W. Hang on one second. Okay, now let's see what names we get for you guys. Okay, let's see. 11 or more names. Okay. So for the names we have here, Juliana, Kylan, K-Y-L-E-N, 
um, Ariana, Cheryl, Greg, G-R-E-G, -E Lynn's built L-Y-N-N, Scent Hill, S-E-N-T-H-I-L, or Scent Hill, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that, Tolsha, T-O-E-L-S-H-A, Heather, Hubert, H-U-P-E-R-T, Bob, and Villian, V-I-L-I-A-N, so only three, six, nine, twelve names, okay, so those are names, now remember guys, these are general readings, they're not personal readings, please take what resonates, leave what doesn't, please let me know if it resonates, please leave comments. If it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Something might resonate with you more in one of your other placements. Like you, that missing piece, that missing link. Something that sort of clicks everything together. Alright, and at the end of each one of these readings, I always give you the link to the previous reading. Previous readings were um, something unexpected. So something you weren't expecting. Something that maybe um, you're going to find out about. Something that's going to be exposed. Or maybe you're going to expose it. But if you don't want to see those, maybe uh, you'll check out the next reading. But um, in any case, I hope to see you in the next one. Um, I love you guys so much, and I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, your comments. Thank you very much.